guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i am susanna n and welcome back to another video so <clears throat> first of all i hope you guys enjoyed the mashida day hi i don't know how it went by your side but to me it was just chill kama kawaida and um yeah who was your hero i mean i don't know I don't know about Swahili words, my Shijan in me, but what I know it might be independence or oh, oh, Heroes Day, something of a kind. But, anyways, if you are new to my YouTube channel, if you come across this YouTube, YouTube channel, please do subscribe, um, like the video, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, guys, on the road to. <coughs> 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year at least guys get your girl to 1,000 subscribers I really appreciate it. for my returning subscribers karibu sana and thanks for watching my videos I do appreciate it. well today's video I'm actually doing a part two of, um, of the previous video that I uploaded last um, previously so it was all about from being a hawker to being a receptionist as you can see um, many of you have uh, watched my videos are from this place uh, this place is a reception at um, the master empowerment center a vocational training so I'm done as a receptionist so guys it was it wasn't that easy to reach up to here like I said in that video <coughs> I it was hard things were hard for me I struggled I sold melon for one full month and uh, when I clocked the second month I reached somehow in the middle of that second month of selling watermelon so that <coughs> I was actually not thinking of giving up because the sun was too hot you know guys moving under the sun from morning to sometime of the day you don't relax you move you move and sometimes you don't sell you know you can be lucky today you sell it all tomorrow you sell half of it and the rest of it is just wasted remember that is already the profit that is wasted already and um, it was really really hard for me um, but since I had nothing to do, after all dropping the applications, etc, uh, that was just the option that I can use to help myself. <coughs> so, it was now in the middle of my second month when I was selling watermelon and I was already giving up, you know. Guys, if you were to see me that time, at least now I'm actually literally brown. I've come back to my normal skin. But then, I turned totally black. You get? I turned totally black. Because if you move under the sun from morning up to some time of the day without sitting down, you don't eat lunch, remember? Or maybe it's either you just, you leave home when you've eaten enough. Sometimes when you don't have, so you just move like that. Or you carry just your water and you'll be drinking or if your home is near you can go to your home and eat then after move again but still there is no that time for a hawker if you're a hawker you don't have time to go home you always have in mind that i need to finish all this that's when i'll go home that is the rule as a hawker you don't go home when you have goods, when you still have goods. So oh, it's unless you go somewhere and eat there. Because if you go home, you will sit and relax and think, ah, after all I have eaten, so uh, it's okay tomorrow I will sell. You see, you won't make any profit. So you have to make sure when you leave home, you go home when you have sold everything. Most especially those hawkers who sell fruits, at the roadsides, moving, you know, so that is the rule. So now in this second month, I was actually thinking of giving up because I was too tired. Uh, you go home when you're very tired. You get. Let's say you move from Gidorai to Kasalani. 
from Kasarani to Mweki, you haven't finished yet. And you still come back with the same thing. It's still in your bucket. Which was so annoying sometimes. But still, in business, you have to consider losses and profits. So, <clears throat> so now I was thinking on giving up and there was this program of uh, Dreamy Girls. So we are called that they need to see us. Um, those people who sponsored us for our college, they want to see us. So now when I came, they talked to us and, you know, so I was like, just like a joke. Now what about like some of us without smartphones, since my phone got spoiled. And how are we going to access that online job? And it was all about online job that they were introducing to us. So now I just say it jokingly, they say, oh Susan, you don't have a job, things like that, no phone, so how are you going to, to do it, you know, how are you going to survive? So I was just like a confused person just in the middle, I was just, le I was just left like that. And the rest had phones, so they can access, they can do that job, that online job that was introduced to us that day. and. Um, me, I just left home that way, but still that thing had me, uh, but had nothing to do. I just had to swallow it deep down me, but I was in much pain. I had no smartphone since my phone got spoiled. And even up to now, I don't have a smart a smartphone. I'm just using for the company since the company is having um, is a school, is an institute, so it has all the resources that is needed so <clears throat> i left home actually that thing discouraged me the next day from going again buying watermelon i was so discouraged i did not go that day to the market to buy the watermelon to go and sell i did not go and even the next day i did not go i think i did not even go for like two weeks without going so after two weeks now my the director of this school of this institute called me i just got a call i was like how how is that possible she's calling me and oh maybe did i leave any bad record at school you know being curious i was i was thinking maybe something is wrong maybe i don't know Maybe again we are called for another meeting, things like that. Then, when I received the call, she told me, uh, you, I heard you last time say that you don't have, you don't have a job. And uh, did you get any? And then I told her, no, I did not get a job. And even up to now, I still, I'm still jobless. I, I don't have any job. So she told me, uh, are you free tomorrow to come and come to the office and then we talk then I was like yeah sure I can so the next day I came to the office around 9 and then she told me that um, she wants to employ me and work as a receptionist and work here for attachment since I was studying here so she told me she can I can work here so I can do my attachment here at this institute since I was a student here so that to improve my skills in case any time when I when I apply a job for any or to any office or any reception so I said yes uh, there is no I was going to refuse since I was actually tired working under the sun every day though you know some attachments they don't they don't actually pay enough money. Some pay, some they don't pay. But I was lucky though I'm paid something that cannot sustain all my needs. But I'm very happy. I really appreciate. And uh, maybe that is, this is where God wanted me to start from. And the next time maybe he can take me to another level. And all, 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 all the blessings go, I give to my boss. Since since then, I have actually learned a lot of things. Since 
I'm a receptionist here. I have learned. I have got confident. I have got. I've improved my skills on using computer. On using, on you know, doing a lot of things here. How to talk to big people. How to you know welcome people. She has actually taught me a lot, and I really, really appreciate. Our thanks go to her. May her be blessed for employing someone like me. And um, she she did not know me out of all the students. So, like I said, I'm so happy. And um, I'm so happy she employed me here, to work here. At this age of mine, for the first time as a receptionist, I'm so happy. May God bless, bless, bless my boss. And um, yes, I have improved my skills. <laughs> but the only thing that is going to make me um, not continue working here is that time when I'm going for my leave, my delivery leave. So I re I'm really I'm really happy to work here. I'm really happy because working the experience what I have experienced here is just these people are so good, they're so caring, they're so humble and um, so understanding, so supportive. Guys, I have no words to say about these people, they are so supportive. I really appreciate and all thanks be to God. May God bless them and may God prosper their business and yes may just god pour them blessings more blessings i just that is what i can say may god bless all of them and pour more blessings on all what they are doing all their way every step they take may their steps be always blessed you know i'm so happy now i'm a receptionist i have an experience of being a receptionist so when handling big people talking to students you know things like that come having some conversation interacting with teachers interacting with new people that i have never met so i am so happy so maybe next time when i apply to another place so at least i will be having some experience you know better than just being like that okay so that's all i wanted to share with you guys about me starting selling watermelon to this level where i am now so sometimes they say patience is good so when you are about to give up that's when god will send for you the the lifter to lift you up and you know hold you not to overthink or give you something that can bring you up from the situation you have been to another level so i really thank god for that and um, same applies to you guys if you're outside there doing the same like the way i was doing so just try it but then have in your mind that god is there and be patient and um, one day one time you'll be uplifted you know so that's all i wanted to share with you in today's video so remember to subscribe like comment also tell your friend to subscribe to the channel to tell a friend to subscribe to share like mostly liking and i really appreciate have a good weekend bye